I've got a harvest loss square in my hand. Yeah, it's uh, really you know, it, it takes about here. two seconds to make those, Brian. Yeah, it's it's a it's quite a tool. Take a, but look, you take know a little PVC pipe. Uh, I learned this trick from a uh, South Dakota State University professor. He had some of these, and so I thought, boy, that is really a good idea. Uh, it's it's nice. You can carry that in the combine. It's not going to break or anything. You just throw that down and count how many seeds you have in that square. Do that in a few spots in the field, and you know what your rough harvest loss is. What I like is some guys will say, well. I'm not going to waste my time doing that. I can see what a foot by a foot is, but you know what? If this is sitting in the cab with you, it just reminds you, hey, I better go throw that out there every now and then and just see how we're doing. Every time you get out of the combine or just every so often as you get out to check on things and see how things are going, take a look at it. Like for example, we're standing by this soybean field and there's a little bit of lodging out here. We had some heavy winds, we had some big rains, and we've got a lot of pods hanging on these plants. So they're kind of drooped over. A couple years back, we were out in a field and actually it was very close to here and we had beans like this that were kind of lodged a little bit and I was riding in the combine with one of our guys and I said you know what stop the combine let's get out and check this we had seven bushels that were falling out the back of the combine on our first pass through the field and the combine operator said whoa seven bushels I need to slow down and possibly even go one way when we have some lodging in a crop. And that just opened our eyes because seven bushels of soybeans is about $100 an acre. Yeah, so that's one of the things that I always bring up to guys is they'll say, well, I don't want to combine one way. I don't have time for that. You absolutely have time for it if it's costing you $100 an acre. Now, it's not going to happen very often where you need to combine one direction, but all we're trying to say here is harvest loss is a big deal. So you take this little square and the important numbers you need to know are 2, 4, and 16. And what do those numbers mean? 2, 4, and 16. You throw down your square, if you're seeing two kernels of corn in that one square foot, you've got a bushel of corn you're losing. And in soybeans, the number is four seeds in the square foot, and you've got approximately one bushel yield loss. With wheat, it's about 16 seeds in a square foot, and you have one bushel yield loss. And don't get us wrong. I mean, we know there's always going to be some amount of harvest loss, but the whole job for you as a farmer is to try to minimize harvest loss. In fact, that's one of the reasons why we got a new combine on our farm, because when you look at the new combines, if you set them correctly, they should do a little bit better job at preventing harvest loss. That's a big deal, especially when commodity prices are the way they are. Well, and you look at a lot of the fields, like this fall, you can see some of that wheat from last year is already up and growing, and guys are having to burn it down before winter wheat goes in. And you say, wow, look at that. I mean, it's just a carpet across the field. How many seeds per square foot was I really dropping last yeah. year? And did I really have 50 bushel wheat, or was it 60 bushel wheat? And I just had so much harvest loss, I didn't realize it. So again, I realize that this is incredibly simple and you're probably sitting there saying oh no kidding I need to look for harvest loss never heard that one before but you know what unless you stop and think about it a little bit you get rolling in these new combines it's nice and warm in the combine you're listening to the radio you're mowing through the acres fast and sometimes we just forget so get out there occasionally take a look at what you have for harvest loss it's a really big deal and don't forget the numbers to four and 16. One other thing that will definitely make you money is great weed control, especially if you have our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control this weed coming up next.